Hi guys, this is the day 13 video update. Uh, today I didn't really have much time to do uh, a lot of work in the polytunnel, so uh, what time I did use I put together a chicken feeder. Uh, I've seen a couple of uh, different videos online, I'll put the links in the description, uh, where people make them out of a bit of uh, plumbing tube, and uh, I'll just go through the process that we used to build it. So first up, tools used. Uh, we used a pair of scissors, a pen, a bit of paper to sketch out the plan. Uh, I used the uh, self amalgamating a tape to uh, seal everything together and I used a pen knife to drill all the holes. Uh, the parts, they're made out of 150mm, uh, uh, sorry, 100mm ducting which is 4 inches I think. I used uh, a short section about 1 foot long and a, a T section, an equal T, and we also used a, a lid from an old soup pot to make a stop for the bottom. So the first thing I did was sealed uh, the lid or well, the super pot lid onto the bottom of the equal T basically just stopped the grain falling out of the bottom and I just used the tape and wrapped it around to lock that on. Next up I attached the equal T to the bottom of the long pipe, I used the tape again to do this. Um, one thing I had noticed the other day out in the polytunnel was uh, I'd left a, a piece of tape out and it went quite brittle in the cold so I'm paying attention to that just in case there is a problem with using this tape in cold weather. Next I use the tip of a pen knife blade to drill two holes. Uh, one is opposite the, the T section of the equal T so I can reach through and screw through from that. And the other is close to the top of the pipe so it can be screwed from above. And these two holes are used to attach the chicken feeder to the side of the chicken shed. Uh, 